Okay, uh, my primary attention is to focus that how the high financial management is, what is high financial management and how it is different than there are so many products are available in the market, especially the many solutions from ERP tools. So we'll discuss about what kind of problem and challenges, primarily at the feminine design for what kind of questions, what is high financial management. Naturally, we'll discuss about the architecture and we also have a quick look about monthly closing process for the people who are technical we see a couple of examples of financial consolidation and the advantage of high financial management. See what high financial management do, it is the solution is already exist with the companies. It is not something we are giving out of the box, but we are providing a solution to that speed up their task. HF is primarily used for financial closing and consolidation. People or all companies are already using some solution, some or other solution for financial closing consolidation. But the primary objective is to give a more space and time to the user, functional user, so that they can uh, save time in a financial closing process and do uh, you know do future analysis for the business. So HFM is an application which sit on top of your relational database. One of the product from IPN family. So I highlight all the important points. It's a web-based solution, like with all the applications these days, primarily designed for performing a financial closing process. It means if I say HFM sits on top of your ERP solution and speed up your consolidation process, financial consolidation process. HFM is primarily designed for enterprise based solution, you know. The complete high pin family is called EPMA now. So it's an EPMA solution. When I say EPMA solution it consists of from high pin family we are for HFM side we are performing financial closing. and consolidation it also performs a solution for reporting solution we call inbuilt reporting solution from financial reports when I talk about EPMN solution we generally discuss about enterprise level not a departmental solution so maybe uh, if you look the complete high pin family this is what the organization require we need to perform reporting and analysis solution we want planning and budgeting solution and an organization we also want financial closing solution and we want a solution from primarily these three so when I say EPM enterprise solution, it means my solution is not based on one line of business, one department. We consider complete organization as one unit and give a one integrated solution to them. So for reporting and analysis, we provide solution from IP inside called financial report. Or maybe we can design offer some other reporting solution called web analysis. For now, assume it's one of the solution available from the HIPN family. For planning budgeting, we offer them highway planning of financial closing consolidation. Oracle has more than one solution. HFM is one of them. And then for data integrity and consistency check. We do FDQM. So when I use a term called enterprise level solution, one solution from the complete family. As I said, financial closing consolidation being used, um, you know, there are many people can do the same solution in Excel base. But what does HFM add value? It is speed up the operation of your financial closing. Therefore, it gives a more room for functional users so that they can make use of this time for future analysis. So there are big terms that we use. First, 
quick solution. Second, it sits on top of your data warehousing so that you can make use of data warehousing functionality. Cost effective, most of them can be automated including capturing data from your translational system, loading into your application, performing reporting, all these things can be, you know, you sync from weeks to days, therefore you can save the time. Most important aspect which I want to highlight over here, before HFM there used to be a product called Hype Enterprise. So as I always say, as a product this is very mature product and being giving solution for years. So they know, they know what are the business challenges are associated with this. HFM is primarily designed for as I say, enterprise level. It means when I say enterprise level, the my organization may be spread across, across the globe and we need to deal with issues like different currencies, languages, you know, government policies, com uh, compliances. So the first challenge which we need to address to collect data from disparate sources from technical point of view and from functional point of view. We'll discuss about there's a, a tool called FDKM which assists HFM to collect data from different sources. And then finally, once you collect data, you perform data consolidation and internal reporting and analysis. Financial consolidation is generic word means you add up the numbers from different subsidiaries to a parent subsidiary and then you build a report on top of that. A reporting or inbuilt reporting inside your HFM or it could be extensive uh, reporting based on your statutory report requirement in financial report. So if I give you one line meaning of what is financial closing and what HFM does, you can assume we will look at my Excel sheet. This Excel sheet is talking about expenses associated with certain activities. The activities are like expenses associated with meeting expenses. Now there are two Excel sheets. One Excel sheet is basically talking about one line of business called corporate risk, corporate and sub line of business is corporate risk and evaluation and division is risk assessment group. My second sheet is also does the same thing but the second sheet is for a division called risk mitigation group and so first and second sheets are absolutely identical. The similarly same thing happen for an enterprise level. They have multiple subsidiaries like PepsiCo. They are spread across the globe. So they have an operation unit at each geographical unit. They may be split across based on geographical units, based on your business operation, based on your management hierarchy. But eventually when they calculate their expenses and publish their you know, balance sheet, global balance sheet, they sum up the numbers. So in this example, there are two subsidiaries I have called or I can call two division. One is risk mitigation group and another one is risk mitigation, risk assessment. So when I say consolidate, to so consolidate my total expense, I may have another sheet over here. I call consolidated expenses. So my consolidated expenses, this would be sum of both division. So this would be 200. So this is a simple example of consolidation. Summing up two entities number into a parent entity is called consolidation. But a generic consolidation can be done in your traditional tools even I can use as space for consolidation or maybe any other solution. When HFM does consolidation it also take care of accounting principles like minority interest, how much values of the children are going to sum up to the parent. So traditional consolidation means I have a parent entity which has got two entities. So in this example I am using two division. One division is risk mitigation group and another one is risk assessment group. So we capture the expenses, let's say meeting expenses. For risk mitigation group, this group has spent this much money, another group has. So a traditional consolidation means adding up these subsidiaries or 
and get the children value to the parent. It could be 300. This is basic consolidation. Now we apply some accounting principle when we consolidate this data. It could be the current one issue could be different currencies. If they are different currency, if assume they both are they belong to two geographical unit and the currency associated with miss this mitigation group is they are capturing all the expenses in USD whereas another currency using INR. So we cannot simply sum them up. We before consolidate we need a currency conversion. So assuming my local currency or my base currency is USD or my all my expenses I am capturing into USD.